How's it going guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about a new feature that was added which is longer draw distances. As you can see right here my game looks absolutely fantastic. I can see further on into the distance and everything looks like it looks great. This game feels absolutely fantastic it runs fantastic um also because it's running on my graphics card and i'm going to tell you guys how you can do that as well in this video so um, if you like the video please do hit the like button leave some feedback in the comment section down below and subscribe uh, to see more tutorials like this but let's get on with the video and let's talk about extended draw distances Okay, so let's talk about what you're going to need. I know the screen looks a little bit weird right now, but this is what I need to explain. I know there's a black box on the right and it will be filled in a second, just to let you guys know. So don't think that this production quality is absolutely garbage. But anyway, so first thing you're gonna need is RuneLight. And RuneLight is a client that you can download to play the game of RuneScape. Uh, there's also other clients such as Conduit, there's OS Buddy, and you've also got the official game client as well. All these clients uh, you are allowed to use, you will not get banned, and they give you extra benefits in the game. One thing being, for example, you can see items on the ground. As you can see, some guys dropped some burnt fish here. I just had to quickly turn it on just so you could see it. But you can see, uh, you can see items on the ground that have been dropped. Uh, that's one of the plugins. The other thing is the tile indicator. So as you can see, when I move, you can see the white box on the floor as well. Uh, and there's all these cool things. You know, like if I hover over stuff, it gives you like name tags and stuff. This is all because of RuneLight. So um, to do this, you will need RuneLight, the client RuneLight. So download it. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can go to the website and download it if you want to download it and then once you download it what you then need to do is you'll you'll see this screen right here and then down the side there are a bunch of icons and you want to click on the setting and the configuration one here so if you click it you'll see all the different plugins that are in the game you can also favorite your plugins by clicking the star here you can turn them on and off with the bar or you can go in and you can set everything up uh, as you want it and the plugin we're going to be looking at today is the gpu plugin so look at my game right now i can see it pretty far away so originally this is what it looks like it looks really horrible now like since i've been playing with this gpu plugin for the last three days my game looks really dreadful now um and also when you turn this off the game originally runs on your cpu rather than your gpu and turning this on will make it run on your on your gpu so anyway um yeah this is what the game mainly looks like and then if i turn it on voila we get to see everything around us and this is literally all it is. Um, when you do come to turn it on the first time, you'll have to click the cog here. Originally, if I reset it again, it will be on 25. So this is the general, not this is the normal render distance of the game. So all it's doing is when you turn it on, it is making it run from your graphics card rather than your CPU. But you can change the draw distance. And I found that 57 is the best to see as far as possible. Um, you can put it all the way down to one if you want it. So you just can't see anything <laughs> whatsoever, which is kind of funny. Um, that is actually strange. I've never messed around with doing that before, but that, that is very, very strange. Uh, but yeah, do um, 57 and this is the best. If you put it to like 100, you won't be able to see further than that. Uh, you'll see a tiny bit further, but the problem is, is it won't load any of these uh, lands up over here because of the fact that you have to load the chunk in order for the game to see it. So like I have to go over there to load this chunk. And if I ran back, this chunk would then be loaded. Um, and then you would be able to see over there. So anyway, yeah, 57 is the best. It, it makes a nice square around you uh, wherever you are. So yeah, 57, try 57. But it may, it, it's very useful. So one thing I need to notify you guys is Within the normal render distance, so I just quickly changed it again. Within the normal render distance here, um, as you can see, like I can examine that door over there, but I can't see anything behind it. If I put the render distance back onto 57, so I see further, any items that are literally past this door, like you see how he just came into frame and he was there. You can't see if people past the, gen the normal render distance of the game. You also can't interact with stuff past this render distance as well. Um, you can move all the way over. So if you click there, as you can see, it's going to move me all the way over there. But you can't interact with things over there. So you can run further with this plugin, but you can't do anything else really beneficial with it. Like I explained before, we loaded this area and we get to see a lot more, which is generally nice. So a lot of people are talking to me and saying this is very overpowered. In my opinion, I do not think this is an overpowered plugin whatsoever. Yes, you can walk further, but I don't see that as a great benefit since I use the map in the top right anyway. 
I'm going to go to a few places now just to quickly show it off and show it off in its glory. As you can see, because we loaded down here, we can see down here. But now we can't see the chunk over here. So like I mean, uh, there's always two chunks loaded at the same time. It's the chunk that you came from plus the chunk that you're in. So as you can see, because we were here and we ran down there, this was the previous chunk. This was the chunk we loaded. So if we go back, this is the previous one. This is the one we're on. So you can't see over here anymore. So just a quick demonstration. You see these trees over here? Normally you can just click them and you can chop them. As you can see, I can't interact with this tree on this island over here whatsoever. Same as like a fishing spot over here. Like the door, this is literally as far as it goes. If I try to click on other things, apparently that door is just in range as well there. Uh, but you can't go any further. I can't click on the trees over there. Okay, so let's go to a, a few different places and we'll see what the game can do. Okay, so we're back to a normal screen again. Uh, so now let's talk about one of the places that this could be potentially useful. So this is the ZMI altar. This is some of the best runecrafting experience in the game, uh, even though runecrafting is already really slow. So what you have to do is players will have to run from this side of the tunnel to the altar over there. And they will take this path here, which is covered with a bunch of like Zamoraki and warriors and stuff, uh, and you get damaged. But generally what players do is if you go to the ZMI world, you see a bunch of players running this, they'll teleport, come down this ladder, uh, go to the banker and just keep running and doing this same motion again and again. So what this plugin will let you do is you will be able to go to the altar in two ticks. And I would have thought it would have been one tick, but apparently I can't click over here. Uh, apparently I have to click on this wall in order to start running down the tunnel. Normally we would just see this, so there's no way we can click over there. But with it on, we can see all the way over there. So yes, I have tried to click over here. Apparently it isn't possible to click into the room over here. The only place I've been able to click from this point of view is here. And if you get it right, you can click just behind the wall and your character will run down the tunnel. And getting over to here, in about two clicks, I can get myself over to the altar. And now I can just chill for about 10 seconds as my character runs over very smoothly. And uh, then I'll craft my runes and just do the same thing again. So this plugin definitely helps for the ZIMI altar. I really recommend that people use it if they have the process in power to do so. But that made my trip to the ZMI altar so much more convenient. Okay, so we're just going to do a little bit of sightseeing. As you can see, uh, we're near Trinum Village. And we can see partial parts of the observatory and the little gnome village outside of the observatory here. Uh, something you would never see before. This looks pretty cool. As you can see, you don't see the NPCs when they're outside the render distance though. And in my opinion, that kind of spoils it. But that's a Jadagex limitation and not a Runelight limitation. Another cool place, in my opinion, is Falador. And being able to see all of Falador at the same time looks absolutely amazing. We can see all the way to the hot air balloon in Tavoli with this. We can see just about the wall on the way to Barbarian Village. And we can see all the way to the park and the castle and everything. And one thing to note is if you do climb up different levels, so say if I get to the top of the castle here, we will be able to see the surrounding area as well. So let's quickly go check that out and see what it looks like. So here we are, all the way at the top of Falador Castle. We can see the whole castle. We can see a little bit of the fa the park over here, which is amazing. We can see into the bar down at the bottom near the, the Varrock Square. And uh, we can see all the way over to the Makeup Mage and the Crafting Guild from up here too. So this plugin is absolutely stunning. I am never going to turn this off ever again in my life. If it gets removed, I am going to cry because honestly, this is making the game so much more better. And I think a lot of you watching the video would agree anyway. Just to compare, let me turn this off. And this is all we see. We can see like half of the castle and that's about it. Uh, we can't even see down to the pub of the houses over here. We can't see the wall on this side and we can't see anything at all on this side. And we turn it back on. It makes the game so much better. Dude, it puts a smile on my face. Like this game is truly beautiful. This game is truly beautiful. But um, yeah, so you have to download Runelight to get this. You have to enable the GPU plugin on Runelight as well to be able to turn it on. Uh, you will need a goodish graphics card as well. It won't need a big graphics card, I don't think. I don't think it'll have to be very expensive. Just something that's able to run um, this game. Like I said before, without this plugin, it normally uses the CPU and it drains a lot of CPU as well. So uh, it also allows this game to be more and more accessible to more people. So yeah, this game is, is truly amazing. It's like we can see everything. So I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, so if you guys did like the video, please leave a like rating. 
If you like the video, of course, you want to like the video. Uh, leave me some feedback. What do you guys think about this plugin? And uh, if you've already turned it on, what are your recommended recommended places to go in the game uh, to see a lot of sites? And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more tutorials like this. My next video should be uh, my old school RuneScape review video. I'm still going through the process of making my first review video and making it up to my sta like standard. So hopefully it does come out tomorrow. It will come out at some point. Uh, it just depends on whether or not like I'm happy with the final product before I want to release it. So yeah. Cheers for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy this plugin and I'll see you guys in my next video. Ciao.